Okay, now we're going to paint with glass. This is the cool stuff. You can paint on any type of glass. Um, this is actually pretty durable stuff. So if you're going to do something like a fish bowl, I'd paint on the outside of it so the fish aren't inside with it. And this glass, you can get at any craft store. You can get a Crate and Barrel. You can get a Walmart. You can get anywhere. So whatever glass that you want to use, it makes great presents. Again, I kept the design simple so we know what to do. Um, there is a glass primer, and the primer is something that you should use first in preparation to it. So I don't know what flowers these are. They were just kind of fun because I just used two tones on one brush. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. First of all, let's go on and prime our area. If I'm going to follow with this design, and I've already poured my primer onto my palette, and it looks, that's why you got to read the label, by the way, because it looks just like all the other primers, but it's not. There's a difference. So again, I'm going to reach in with my brush, and let's say I want to paint the same design here. Hold these up. They want to. So I'm going to come in, and I'm going to make big round circles where I want to put these. And I will tell you, the last really needs the primer. If you don't put the primer on there, oh, it'll stick. It's just that you got to go back and make it stick a little bit more and a little bit more. Uh, nobody wants to do that. So I'm going to come down here with my, but it's also translucent. So if you have an area that you cover with this and you don't want to use it, it's okay. So here I put my primer and you can hardly see it. I've left it kind of thick just for you to see. But over here, I have one that's already primed. So let me find it. See, I've got to hold it up to the light so I can find what I have. So we're going to paint this one. Now, if you want something like these flowers, that's actually a really easy thing to do. It looks like I really worked hard on it, doesn't it? But I did. I didn't do anything to it. What I did was take a paintbrush that's not a really well-used um, paintbrush yet, but it's not a great paintbrush. It's real soft. So you kind of splish it out here. And if I want to do the purple on this, I might hold in. It's kind of fun if I put the white out. The white is kind of the key to it. So get this kind of cool look without a whole lot of effort. I don't believe in a lot of effort when you paint. I believe in having a lot of fun. One edge in the blue, the purple, the other edge in the white. And so I can come up here and smush it all the way around here. And that's a good word because that's really all I'm doing. Looks like I worked hard on that, doesn't it? But I didn't. Do another layer right inside, make it a little bit darker here, wider there. And so I've got this kind of neat mum looking plant. I'm going to do the same thing over here. This time I'm putting white on the outside just because I want to. Do it again here and I get this very cool layered look. Now I put several colors out. It's from my first palette. I guess I'll clean this off. Because maybe I'm going to do the other one as a red and kind of a pinky color here. Same type of idea. I'm going to come on here and I'm going to make just another color here. Back around. Um, put a little red in the middle. Some of the paintings that I do take a long time. If I thought I could paint everything and go this fast, that'd be a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to follow where I think I... There we go. Same thing. You can just come in with the green. Let's say I want to come over here with... The cool thing about leaves is nobody really knows what a leaf to that plant looks like, so you can make it anything you want. All right, maybe I'll put another one up here. I see that I had that. So in a matter of another five minutes, 
we just did would be a beautiful decorative piece to anybody that is interested in having something like this as a gift. You saw how long that took me. Think how many you could do. Think how many relatives you could make happy. It's great, friends, wedding, anything. Next, we're gonna work on rocks.